Good morning. We've been meditating on Father B. Griffiths along with Hildegard Bingen and Julie of Norwich about the need to bring a balance with the masculine and feminine yang and yin energies. Father Bede says, the suppression of women in the church is but one of the many signs of a masculine domination. Reason has to be married to intuition. It has to learn to surrender itself for the deeper intuitions of the spirit. Where do these intuitions come from? They come from the presence of the spirit in the depths of the soul. Presence of the spirit in the depths of the soul. So Hildegard herself takes us beyond the domination of the rational masculine. She praises the intellect and our reason. She doesn't discourage it. She's not at all anti-intellectual. She says all science comes from God. But she also takes to, us to a place where the divine feminine is, is welcome. And she does so in today's meditation about how lady love uh, created the earth and all creation. In one poem, Hildegard says this, quote, God made the form of woman to be the mirror of all the divine beauty, the embrace of the divine creation as a whole. The powerful statement, God made the form of woman to be the mirror of all his beauty, the embrace of his whole creation. So this is certainly stepping away from the uh, teaching that uh, from Augustine, for example, who said, and I quote, man but not woman is made in the image and likeness of God, unquote. <laughs> Hildegard is uh, going like this to Augustine. <laughs> she says, God made the form of woman to be the mirror of all his beauty, the embrace of his whole creation. Hildegard does not isolate the divine feminine. She doesn't put up a sign saying men need not enter or men need not apply. She incorporates masculine energies, but she also is uh, incorporating both men and women into her, her vision of the rise of wisdom, therefore the rise of the divine feminine. So it is this marriage of the divine feminine sacred masculine that gives birth to what's healthy. That's a very important uh, uh, dimension to Hildegard's contribution. And if you put it in the context of Father B. Griffith's observation from having lived in India for over 50 years and studied Hinduism and entered deeply into the culture and uh, religions and spirituality of that, that region, you realize what Hildegard is addressing is so important that it's, it's at the front burner of whether our species will survive today, whether we can truly find balance, not a balance that knocks each other out, but a balance of, that generates, a balance of the positive and negative charge that brings forth a new energy, that kind of balance, an electricity, a relationship between the feminine and the masculine that can go so far, such a far way to engender creativity and the kind of transformation we need both as individuals, our deeper selves and truer selves, but also as workers and contributors and citizens to our nations into our planet to get things done, new things. You need this kind of energy between the masculine and the feminine. Thank you, we'll see you tomorrow.